examples to really clearly illustrate what is going on with the knock retard and how we can use a data log to go in and work with our knock tables and our spark timing tables so we can get a bigger picture of what's going on during our tuning process. So let's go in here. I'm gonna be opening up my first log. It's a normal throttle low knock here. This is gonna be a driving cycle, uh, driving around for a few minutes. And this is on a well-tuned engine that has little to no knock. So everything's set up right. The GM calibration scale for the knock sensors has not been touched. So the, the information that it's displaying is gonna be valid, it's gonna be accurate, and we can trust what's going on here. So going through, let's jump down here. We're gonna see that we have our knock retard displayed here, our knock learned factor here. And we can see that our knock retard is gonna be in our chart versus time. It's gonna be displayed here in red. So if we're quickly looking at the two-dimensional view of what's going on, anytime we, anytime we have a little blip here in red, that's gonna signify that we had knock retard. So we can see we only had two little spots here of a tiny bit of knock retard kicking in. We can see that it was kicking in here and it was pulling about 0.8 to one degree. Let's actually go ahead and focus in on that real quick. It's gonna be pulling out, you see one degree and then it comes, it comes back out again. And we can see with this overlay exactly where that knock occurred. We can see that it's between, it looks like, 2800 to 3600 right here. We can see you have some of this knock retard populate it. And we can see that it happened between 0.52 to 0.68 cylinder air mass. So if we were gonna go ahead and try to detune that spot, let's say if we constantly saw knock retard and a log occurring in this range, we might know that we have too much spark timing. So what we could do is jump into here, we could jump into our high octane and we could go 2800 to 3600. So we'd be in this range right here. And then we'd be specifically looking at 52 to 68. So we'd be looking here 52 to 68 cylinder air mass. And this is be right where we are. We're right where that data log is showing us where potential knock was occurring. Now, a one degree of knock retard, even two degrees of knock retard, that is gonna be completely normal for even a stock vehicle. So if you start seeing a little bit of knock retard, retard kicking in as you're driving around, completely acceptable, don't worry. But what you shouldn't see is that your knock retard is constantly kicking in here. If you saw tons of these little spikes going on and it not ceasing uh, and, and constantly showing that it's pulling timing out, that is gonna be a problem. So either we have one of two situations going on in that case. We either have one, we have too many modifications done to the engine that's thrown off the knock sensitivity tables and now we don't have a good knock floor or baseline for what actual knock is and what it is, what noise is and what actual knock is occurring. So that knock sensitivity is not set up correctly for our modifications that we have done or we simply have too much spark timing or not enough octane and we have a situation where knock's actually occurring and is doing its job. So how do we evaluate this and know what to do? Now, what 